Over 500 people from Thika East Sub-County have benefited from a free medical camp organized by Siri Gudwara Thika Community at Immaculate Heart of Mary Mission Hospital Kilimambogo. In the medical camp, patients suffering from various ailments were treated and given free medicine. The organizers also provided them with free lunch and some food hampers to take home. Siri Gudwara Thika Chairman Marjit Singh Bahra noted that this was their second medical camp as they marked Vaisaki celebrations. He also pointed out that the camp has cost them over a million shillings. My name is Marjit Singh Bahra and I'm the chairman of Sikh Temple Thika. At the moment, I'm at uh, Kalima Bogo Hospital, Thika East, and we have organized a medical uh, camp which is free uh, for, the, for the community, and we have been there before, and this one is our second time, that we feel proud to be here to assist the needy people. And uh, this one we are going to, to, to celebrate our Visakhi Gurpuram, which we celebrated in our Sikh temple on 14th of April 2023. I feel proud to announce today that uh, the patients are very happy uh, because we have done eye checkup, dental checkup, general checkup for all the people, uh, the old people, and also the children are here. And then after the checkup, they get medicine which is free. Even we have talked to them, they said that uh, we are very happy that uh, outside the medicine is very, very expensive and uh, they're taking the advantage of this medical camp. And the hamper is also there. And then we have organized lunch for 500 people. So even after that, if there's a need for the operation, for the eye operation or any for dental problem, we are there to support. So uh, in addition to that, I would like to say that uh, it will cost us around 1 million. While speaking to the press, Dr. B. D. Vasisti, chairman of the Hindu Council of Mount Kenya region, noted that 60% of the national deaths occurred as a result of lifestyle diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular and respiratory diseases, as well as cancer. He encouraged people to practice healthy eating habits and do a lot of exercises to keep away from diseases. He also pointed out that the high cost of medicinal drugs could be brought down if the government worked with the private sector to encourage local manufacturing of medicine. Uh, I'm Dr. Bidi Vasishta. I'm the chair of Hindu Council of Kenya, Mount Kenya region. Sri Guru Dwara Thika, in conjunction with the Lions Club of Thika, Chania Falls, and Hindu Council of Kenya, is holding this free medical camp today here to fulfill its mandate or obligation to the communities around by uplifting the health and well-being of the people around here in, in this region. Universal health care, it should be everybody's business. And uh, multi-sectoral approach is the way to go about it. As you know, 60% of the deaths occur because of lifestyle diseases, mainly diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, respiratory diseases, and cancer. That underlines, underscores the need for frequent medical checkups. And this free medical camp is one of its kind to do that. And also you know that Lifestyle diseases are preventable and curable in some instances. Healthy eating, enough exercises can decrease the chances of getting these diseases. Medicine is not health care. Food is health care. Medicine is sick care. And if you don't take care of food as medicine, one day you will end up taking your medicine as food. Most of the people here, they cannot afford the cost of the medicine which is available in this country. I think I find the reason behind it is because most of the times we are importing the drugs and importing all the goods. So that's why I think we, this is the now time for us and the government to act on that so that we can manufacture our own medicine here. That will certainly bring down the cost. 
so that it can be, be first-hand supply to the patient. Certainly these countries, Kenya, our country is very blessed and we have the capacity to do anything we can decide. So, and uh, I'm happy to say that government is already considering those uh, uh, measures they are taking so that we can start various projects in this country and uh, manufacturing, as you must have heard that we are also coming up with a very big factory which is even going to manufacture vaccines for corona. So why not the other general drugs? Vika Level 5 Hospital Board Chairman Dr. Raju Mohindra said that the hospital was exploring ways in which they could partner with other private health entities to offer better health services to the people at the grassroots. Lions Club of Thika Chania Force President Sorab Sharma hoped that such events would culminate into great partnerships that will see them assist so many needed people who could actually have not afforded proper medical care. It was Dr. Raju Moindra. Now I'm the chairman also of Thika Level 5 Hospital. So we are also here to see how we can refer and how we can partner between Lions, between Thika Gurdwara, between Kilmambogo, and Thika Level 5 Hospital. We believe this is our community. We are a referral hospital. We are a Level 5 Hospital. We want to see how we can give better service to the people at there, at the grassroots levels. I think this kind of a camp also brings up awareness, brings up the issues, brings up data on what is going on at the ground, at the grass. And fortunately, we would like for this partnership to grow even further. Uh, this is actually our third camp. We did one in Kitui, we've done one here on the same site, and uh, this is our third one. So we hope this can become an annual event where we can uh, raise money, do services and follow up. On the pharmaceutical side, yes, uh, a lot of pharmaceuticals can be manufactured within the country and we need to get some uh, government policy support where we can upscale the manufacturing. I think as Dr. Bidi mentioned, it's time for our country to take lead. We need to promote our local industry, we need to create jobs for our local Kenyans and build our capacity in manufacturing and universal health coverage. From uh, Lions Club of Thika Chania Falls, uh, I'm the current president. Um, we are grateful to our partners today, uh, Sri Gurdwara Thika, and uh, our donors, Dawa, Broadway, and so many others who have helped put up this uh, spectacular camp. And uh, we are targeting a big number, at least 500 plus. Uh, we'll obviously share the numbers once we are through, uh, how many people were attended, how many medicines we dispensed, and also on uh, the site uh, for the eye checkup, Lion Site First Eye Hospital, they've been a great partner in every medical camp that we have held. Uh, uh, so we hope that today even we'll be referring some uh, patients there. And uh, it's been a great activity, like uh, Dr. Raju said, we hope that this is going to be a growing partnership and that it can be an annual event because we as Lions, uh, Thika Chania Falls and the Lions at large, we are always ready for such kind of uh, service. As uh, Dr. BD always says, where there is a need, there is a line. So <laughs> that, that's what we do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Naitwa Karoni Mukami from Thika, body member Thika Refo 5. Yangu ni kushukuru awa marafiki wangu tuki ongozwa na Dr. Laju and the team tumeshukuru sana kwa vile umeshikilia mnyonge umeonyesha na ishala ya kujitolea kukuja pamoja na watu wote ni vizuri kuwe hii hospitali ipromotiwe ndio iweze kuwa ina accommodate watu wengi kwa sababu ukiangalia kama watu vile tumeona hapa nimeona watu almost 800 ni kumaanisha kuna watu wengi sana na wako na shida. Kama sasa tugekuwa tunakuja kila wakati na kama kuna hospitali kuu wanaweza pata mahali ya kuadmitiwa. I am Sister Maria Inviolata Wanjala. I'm the administrator of this hospital and I just want to say thank you so much for our sponsors for the medical camp we have had today. We are so grateful to our sponsors and we only pray that this is the beginning of our relationship and uh, 
we hope that we are going to go further to partner together to help the people in community in this community in matters of health. We are so grateful today for what the for choosing this hospital to make it a center for for the medical camp today and so far we are grateful for the turn up yet. So I really appreciate and I pray that God will bless each and every one of them.